So in this case, we've lost our hatch cover or maybe we've got a leaky skate box and we need to stem the flow of water. And so here we're gonna use some cling film or our stretch wrap, which is a little stronger and basically encapsulate the area to seal the boat. Anchor it at one end and then start wrapping around the boat. A little bit difficult at the, the widest point, but you can get going. And then once we start sealing up and work our way towards the bow, then it'll get a little bit easier. Even a little bit of pressure throughout, we can soon start to keep that water out and improve our situation dramatically. Just get a quick layer on first. more awkward because of the GoPro. <laughs> I need to lie on there. There's only two of us. If we had three or maybe four it would make life a lot easier and I could pass the stretch wrap across to my partner and we could wrap the boat a lot easier than just struggling on your own. Obviously in the wider points of the boat it's a bit of an armful to reach around and pull that nice and tight. But we've got the water out now. We could put a small slit in the top Put in our uh, deck pump, pump out that water, and then a few more wraps of uh, stretch wrap, and we're all watertight, and we can carry on to somewhere safe. We've got a leaking skate box, we need to sort something up, and I need to now just wrap the boat up as if we're gonna pack it away. Anchor one end if you can, and literally bandage it as if you were, there's the back of the skate box, as if you were bandaging somebody's arm. And very quickly, we're gonna stop that leak. Probably best to go over a few times, make that nice and watertight. So just keeping that tension on and molding it to the shape of the kayak. And you can always get left with sufficient to wrap your sandwiches up. Many kayaks now will have a skate some form of skeg system in the back and inside the hull will be a small box that that locates and there is a wire and a cable and an outer cable that goes into that skeg box and this quite often happens when people have been away on an expedition or jam some bags in the back of their boat they pull the boat out bags out and in doing so have pulled the outer cable off or out of the skeg box the cable, which is operated by quite often a slider by the cockpit, could be a string and that will have some other form of cleat around the cockpit that allows you to adjust the skate for the varying conditions. The outer tube will fit in to the skate box in a variety of different ways depending on manufacture. Sometimes the plastic tube will be just inserted into a hole and there'll be a, a layer of fiberglass holding this in place and this will then pull out and leave an exposed hole with the wire running down into your skate box and allowing water to come into the kayak. It may be a union such as this, this may have come undone and in doing so that comes out, this remains in the skeg box. So perhaps you need to check what type of skeg box system you've got. Have you got a spanner to see if you could tighten that up or a pair of pliers maybe. This is again another different type of fitting and more recently some people fit this push fitting. I pull that little piece back, I can pull the skeg outer cable off and then push it securely back in. So in your own kayak check what type of fitting you've got and try, if this comes out, to try and push it back in. Be it a push fit, a glued in fit with fiberglass, or some type of union that would attach it to the back of the skeg box. But basically this outer comes away from the boat and allows a small amount of water to weep into the kayak all the time. Inside this kit, down the center tube, we have some self amalgamating tape. So we pull the backing tape off and this inside here is slightly stickier. What we can now do is reach in the back of the skate box, apply the sticky tape side of the tape to the skeg fitting 
and the tube and with a little bit of pressure keeping a constant pressure on all the time we are making a rubber seal around the pipe this is inside the back of the kayak and once we've got it keep that pressure on all the time keep peeling the tape just as much as you need keep the pressure on and wrap the fitting round and then when you're ready to finish the job put the rubber tape over itself because it sticks well to itself and snap it off once we snapped it off just work it round and we've now made a rubber seal and that will hopefully stem the leak from the back of the box when you bring your kite to me to fix it I can just find the end or use your sharp blade and I can then peel this off and fix it properly for you